My name is Jesse Coleman. I am a legal researcher with the Columbia Center on Sustainable Investment based in New York and we're a joint center of the Earth Institute and Columbia Law School. I spoke today at CFS about open land contracts which is a repository of investor state contracts for large-scale land, agriculture and forestry projects. So the purpose of open land contracts is both to increase transparency around land deals but also increase the accessibility of the contracts themselves. So we make the contracts available but we also provide plain language summaries of the contracts. We provide metadata which allows users to search across contracts and provisions and we also provide a range of tools and resources including training modules to help users to better understand um, and assess the provisions of the agreements. The aims of open land contracts are kind of fourfold. We hope to catalyze greater transparency around land-based investment, show that the disclosure of land contracts is both feasible and valuable, um, increase just generally understanding and awareness of these contracts, um, and also to, to make disclosure something that, that uh, is comfortable in, for governments but also for investors and other stakeholders. With open land contracts, one of the um, initiatives that we worked on over the past year was to provide mini grants to users of the site in order to um, provide innovative uses of the repository and the information that it makes available. So we worked with uh, CED in Cameroon and they uh, created a template that allowed communities and non-profit supporting communities to work with the contracts that are on open land contracts and to assess whether the companies involved in those contracts were abiding by the obligations that are listed in those contracts. So they used the information that's made available on open land contracts and really took it to the next level in order to try and increase accountability around these investments. So I think it's a really great example of uh, using disclosed information to really promote accountability around large-scale investments in land. I think disclosure is only the first step. Figuring out how best to use this information and make sure that, that we close the feedback loop and figure out how to uh, really ensure that information that's disclosed is used to inform policy and improve policy.